horrible little Metcon. Um, got 20 wall balls, 30 pound med ball, or wall ball, whatever you want to call it. 30 dumbbell clean and jerks with 35 pounds. Back to 20 wall balls. 20 dumbbell clean and jerks, but this time with 50 pound dumbbells. 20 wall balls and then finishing with 10 dumbbell clean and jerks, but with 70s. So, hope you have an hour. my goal for the competition uh, obviously I would love to win it um, you know looking and see how I did in the uh, online qualifiers um, it was kind of on a whim when I did that so I really wasn't training I just kind of did it to see where I was and fell in 12 so I know there's a lot of improvement so having two months to to work on all that stuff um, I think uh, I think a podium spot maybe maybe in um, you know achievable for sure. Right now, the stuff we're working on is basically stuff that like I just haven't done or seen in a while. So a lot of rope climbs, overhead stuff, um, still issues with my shoulder. So a lot of stability, overhead squat, snatch stuff. Um, those, uh, those would probably be the big ones. Okay, I'm gonna do a little uh, shoulder rehab work or prehab too. Um, can use it both for, for rehabbing and preventing injury. Um, you know, because I still have some some issues mobility wise um, with my shoulder. So <clears throat> I really started uh, incorporating these a lot more once I uh, qualified and things like that, just to, to not make it any worse, um, make it a little bit better. So um, shout out to uh, Corey's others for all these things. Hashtag um, rehab redefined. So are any of the skills we're doing today like your strengths, are they weaknesses or what? I would say at least the first two. I think I'm pretty decent at muscle ups and pretty decent at handstand walks. It's just more the, uh, I'd say the volume on the handstand walks, 300, 300 feet one time is, is a lot. So just being smart, having a four, time, four minute time cap, that's uh, you know, a little rough. See what we can do.
this is how you know you're a masters athlete so you got you got a lot of keen, keen patches everywhere a little icy hot um but they were okay i uh had a real hard time breathing on the last 400 couldn't get any air in for some reason um but overhead squats were good did both sets unbroken um wasn't really expecting that going in um just warming up they felt pretty heavy failed 95 pound overhead squat so that was good you know good start to warm up um but you know they, that was that was the goal mainly um is to to burn through the, the overhead squats i was able to do them unbroken so i was happy with that just about we're okay 20 and 10 on the first set more as a uh, precaution more than anything and my last word too tired to, to go into those overhead squats so once i got the 215 overhead squats unbroken i just kind of went with what i could on, on the last of the just the bar pull-ups, 15, 10, and 5, so it was all right. Finishing just over 15 minutes, so competition, you you know, pushing the pace a little bit faster than you're looking at maybe 13. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Exactly 20 days out, um, September 1st today, and uh, competition is the 21st, so 20 days. Um, so far, uh, training's been going well. Um, really dialing in um, certain movements to really release the, to the workout so got to see what those were so we're you know Joey um, my coach has been programming uh, variations of that most um, of which are probably a little bit harder so that when I get to the count of you know I can breeze through them uh, and through. Um, <clears throat> but you know so they're a little easier so um, they're going to continue to release the workouts once a week so um, My, my squat snatch uh, last week, so happy about that. Um, hasn't happened in probably two years, so good deal.